Okay, this is a really cool website. It's a Japanese site, but most of it is in English. And what it is, is a periodic table of motion. So if you're going to do any animation, this is a good place to come to get some inspiration on how to create your motion elements. Now, usually if you are researching animation, you'll find that there's maybe 12 rules of animation. Now, this sort of breaks those sort of rules down more. Now, each of these elements in the table, if I click on orbit, takes you to another page. And once it's loaded, it will show how you can combine two different types of motion to create another um, animated artifacts. Also, it gives you examples of how they could be used to further develop that, that motion graphic. And also it gives you um, examples down the bottom of what they're related to. Um, now, if I go back here where it says top, that'll take me back to the table. So if I went to somewhere simple, like rotate over here on the right, I click on rotate. It'll take me to the page here. Just shows you simple. Yep, this is a simple rotate. But if you use rotate and you use a step in that, you can have animation that's say a clock face. Also, if you use a rotate, you can combine that with, say, um, a trim line. So that's where it sort of disappears and you can create these type of graphic elements. So what it is, is showing you start off simple, combine them with other elements and make more complex, stylized motion graphics. And again, I'll go down to the bottom where it has motion blur. And here. Again, these are real cool examples of how you can have real-time usage for these um, animated motion graphics. And I'll just come down for another simple one, move. It'll load up. Again, move, so simple, it's just a box moving around. But again, you combine these and these are the sort of uh, motion graphic elements you can have. Uh, and again, these can create very complex um, infographic type animations. So super useful site. I've put the um, link here in below and also I've had it on screen. But certainly come along, look at this site if you want to do uh, motion graphics. And there's lots of in inspiration you can have by looking at all these elements and how to apply these in your animated artifacts.